you know, like this, a guy like Daryl Boyce might get overlooked, but you know, he has a nice block shot in a five on three, scores a goal, he gets involved in a physical confrontation. Does he have to do all those things to stay up in this league? Well, not all of them in the same game, but uh, he adds that uh, that element. Um, he and he did that last year for us, so he just didn't have room for him at the beginning of the season. But as the the way things have developed, we need that kind of second effort that he gives you, and it's uh, it's contagious when somebody like that does those little things. The block, the one, I mean, he ends up scoring a goal, but he the block on the five on three was huge. You know that. I mean, you look up, I think we had 49 seconds when we started, and Stex won the face up. We got it down, then Boyser went out and did, you know, made the big block. And that's what we haven't been getting um, a lot on our PK, our guys uh, willing to block shots. And the forwards got a few tonight, and the D were excellent around the net in terms of blocking shots. We were, got one, too, with a, when he didn't have a stick. Yeah, yeah, that was huge. Uh, stick broke in the corner, and... Um, the way it's been for us, it's like, oh, geez, oh, all the bad luck. And then they actually made a bad play, and it hit his stick and went to the point man. But uh, our luck was on our side tonight. In general, do you think a lot of the things you worked on yesterday were put into practice tonight? A couple of the well, players felt in that In general, way. Uh, with our PK, for sure. Um, the shot blocking angles and, um, and, and getting our forwards to uh, – uh, when the play was put down the wall, they forced the forward down into the D, so you kind of had a pinching effect. So uh, forwards did a really good job there, too. As a, as a coach, Ron, it's, that's two games now where you've had seven goals against these guys. Is there something stylistically, or is it just kind of a freak? No. Um, they, they, they came in having won three in a row. The last time we played them, they weren't playing very well, and uh, th this time they were. They've won seven of ten or, or something like that and three in a row so they were playing well and uh, I, I just think we had our foot on the gas all night and um, they scored first we scored right right away and every time they managed to uh, tie the game up uh, at least through the first half of the game we bounced right back and uh, got ahead almost on the next shift and we haven't been able to that's what we've been uh, guilty of against a uh, number of teams in the last uh, week or so. Ryan, you think a game like that would do uh, something for Matt Fratton's confidence? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, that that whole line did a pretty good job. They were getting in cycling and forecheck, and that's what we wanted to do. Um, any team doesn't want to spend any time in their own end, and we wanted to make sure that we possess the puck in the offensive zone, cycled down low, and those guys did a really good job of that. Steve Danny, Danny was at his agitating best. Uh, are you happy with the way you guys were able to stay composed in the face of that? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, um, he manages to irritate you and you, he draws penalties, uh, which is obviously good for the team. And not only that, he's a skilled player, too. He plays on, on one of their top two lines. And um, uh, yeah, but I, I'm glad that it worked out the way it did um, when he tried to, you know, he got himself a little carried away and then he ran it. Dion and we responded properly.